All right, hey guys, uh, I'm back soon. Just wanted to show you uh, an update uh, to my backup Seesaw console project. I was able to make a couple of really good improvements. Um, one of them is, is that when I went to go take a look at my Instant Recall Recorder software, I noticed on the site, uh, Comtech, uh, shout out to Comtech, good company, that they also had a, uh, a virtual tone remote control program. And uh, I downloaded it and, and tried it. And I'm using just a simple little USB uh, uh, audio port there. And um, it works really good. Um, I'm really uh, impressed. So I was able to get that uh, hooked up and eliminate the uh, the tone remote altogether, um, and um, was able to get the uh, radio programming hooked up for channel change, and um, went through the went through the uh, controls here, and um, um, got it all set up, and everything works good. It, it, it does exactly like you expect. Um, it transmits just fine, and uh, I'm giving a test here. Uh, testing one, two, three, four, and uh, get my portable over here and come back to you. And testing one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And uh, it um, is a uh, needs a little bit of fine adjusting on the audio, uh, but it's pretty close to what the microphone sounds like. And um, otherwise, uh, I got no complaints about it at all. After I got it, uh, the tone remote hooked up, I was still, off, and I've been battling this problem of how to get this thing to work wirelessly uh, for a while. And I, uh, I, I had a, an idea that, um, because I noticed that on all the, uh, the actual little devices, the, the computers and the little Wi-Fi things, they would broadcast the, the uh, the multicast traffic just fine. It's only the routers that filter filter it out going to the wireless. And um, so I was I was like, well, I wonder if I just could just get rid of the router altogether. And so my idea was to use a um, little Wi-Fi thing that I was using as a bridge, except now uh, I got it configured as a wireless access point. Although it's a wireless access point to a nothing network consisting of just one switch and one IP223, but it doesn't care. It's hooked up to something, so whatever it says, it's just going to go back and forth. So all the the, the multicast broadcast uh, coming out um, of the IP223 here just gets sent right over, and it goes right through the Wi-Fi on this one. And I had the Wi-Fi and Ethernet bridged uh, under uh, network settings. And it goes through my Wi-Fi right out the, uh, the Ethernet uh, connection over here and into this IP223. And they're just happy as clams talking back and forth. Uh, no problem there at all. Um, so I finally got wireless, wireless uh, IP223. And of course, this. Uh, imagine if you were like at a fire camp or something, and you had your comp system in your van, and you wanted to hook up a uh, a remote to the important channels, uh, um, say for the incident commander or the ops people or whatever. This would be a really cool way to do it, and um, it goes as far as you, your network. Set up that'll take you. So if you big, build a big Wi-Fi system, it'll go a long ways. Um, but anyway, that's the uh, that's the big update, and I just wanted to, to share that with you. Uh, there's a lot of uh, details in the configuration. I'm uh, uh, I got the basic uh, setup here on a thumbnail um, attached to the video and. Uh, I'll try and put something at the end that shows it as well. But anyway, there you go. Thanks.